Hey guys, John here. Are you tired of having the same TRD Pro grill that every Tacoma owner has? Well, Yodiverse has a solution. Introducing the version two Pro Tacoma grill from Yodiverse. So this grill is pretty cool, guys, because it doesn't look anything like the normal Heritage grill. Instead, it looks more like the third generation Tundra and also what we can assume the fourth generation Tacoma to look like. So out of the box, we get the grill itself. You could put a Toyota emblem here or we also have the Toyota Heritage style. So we'll take the center portion out to be able to put the Toyota Heritage style in. We have Raptor lights that are already pre-wired. And then if you also elect to, there's DRLs down here on the both the left and right. It also comes with a wider TSS sensor because the grills are a bit wider than those of this generation. It comes with required hardware and harnesses too for the wiring. I'm not gonna use this one because I'm not gonna set up these DRLs. I'm only gonna set up the Raptor lights, but the one thing that it does not come with is an Adafuse. So I'm gonna be using the Adafuse. If you have a switch or anything like that, these would work perfectly fine, but I'm just gonna use the Adafuse method. Taking off the OEM grill is super simple, guys. We just have a 10 millimeter bolt right here, a 10 millimeter bolt right here, a little plastic tab that we're just gonna have to pull up with the flathead, and then the same thing on this other side right here. Now with the hardware removed, if your vehicle has both the Toyota Safety Sense or a camera system, you're gonna wanna take off the harnesses. So on this tab right here, I'm gonna go ahead and depress this down, and also you're gonna unplug it right here. Now double check, everything's removed. We're gonna go ahead and grab the grill, literally just pull it towards ourselves. I always hate pulling this thing out. A lot of plastic, but should just pull right out. Next, if you have the TSS sensor and the camera, we're gonna need to move all this hardware over so you can see where the screws are here. Also where it's tabbed into just to hold the harness in place. So just go ahead and pop all this off. Don't forget to take these out of your OEM grill. All right, next we're gonna remove the grill from the OEM housing. So to do that, you're gonna have to depress all these tabs in and then also taking screws out that are around the grill surround too. So just kind of following this whole area to see if there's screws around it, you know, and then just pulling those out. All right, with everything transferred over, we're gonna go ahead and set it into the OEM housing. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and put the grill back in. You can kind of see these tabs down here at the bottom. They just wanna line up right here. Just watch out for your paint on each side to make sure you don't scratch anything up. <laughs> that looks so much better, that looks so sick. All right, with the grill now all in place, we're gonna go ahead and do our wiring. So I went ahead, buttoned everything up, zip tied it all up nice up in here. There's a bunch of little holes all throughout so you could clean up the wiring. Ran my wire here. So we're gonna have our negative, the black wire. It's gonna go right up in here. I like to ground my stuff right here. And then for the adifuse that we're gonna splice into the positive right here, this 10 amp fuse right there. I'm gonna go ahead and pop this one out add it into the Adafuse and then put it right back. So then that way, every time we turn the vehicle on, the Raptor lights are on. Dang, those Raptor lights are bright. So I went ahead and turned it on. That's what the Raptor lights look like. I elected to not go with the DRLs over here on the sides of the grill. If you want to, you can, just because the TRD Pros look so good, but dang. And there it is, guys, fully installed with the Tacoma in its environment off-road. What do you guys think about it? So the positives, we'll start with that first. It's something different, guys. It is something different than the typical heritage-style grill that is just always there. Everyone gets their SR5s, TRD off-roads, SRs, whatever it is, and just everyone has the TRD Pro-style grill. So basically, it's the heritage grill that everyone has just modernized for the next generation of Toyota vehicles. So like I said in the beginning, the Tundra has this same one. I'm pretty sure that the new Tacoma will have it. Basically all Toyota did was they took their riding from the very center and moved it up top and it looks really good. The way Yodiverse integrated the LED lights is awesome. If I elected to run the DRLs I would but I just like the way that it looks without them. Positives, super easy install. It's something different. It looks great. Now let's talk about the negatives. Well the negative you can see right here in the center. I did DM Yodiverse and asking like, hey, do you guys have a little bit darker of a radar sensor? Because the vehicles that don't have the radar sensors, they look really, really good. This one, for some reason, it's like a silver. So it matches this perfectly, which is cool. Me personally, I want it to be blacked out like the honeycomb style is, just a little bit more blacked out. So the second con, and this really only applies if you have cameras, is there's no camera integration for it. So after recording that, Yodiverse did get back to me on Instagram. So this, they agree with. Little gray, they are working on getting that a little bit darker and also 
a camera version of this grill. So if you have both of those, if that's kind of a concern to you, or you have the camera on your Tacoma, then be on the lookout on their website for that update. So guys, if you enjoyed this grill, discount code and link for the product down in the description. I really, really like it. It was super easy to install. It looks completely different, but for my TRD Pro, it still looks like a TRD Pro, which is awesome. There are only two caveats with it, that being silver and then no camera relocation. And it's not like a deal breaker at the end of the day to be different on your heritage style grill. So guys, I appreciate you watching and I will catch you all in the next one. All right, see you later.